Three weeks ago, I posted a video how I built this workstation that combines two tables into one. You can find that video on our DIY projects playlist. So this is an update from the previous build. Here I added shelves and a storage underneath. I wanted to have as much space as I can, so I removed the computer from its case and install all the components right under the table. This is before and this is after. I will show you how I put all of this together right after this message. This video is brought to you by jflorcha.com. If you like doing DIY projects or like teaching yourself new skills or like to travel with your family, but your time is restricted from working a full-time job, you can visit our website at jflorcha.com. We provide a free live webinar on how to start your own online business every Tuesday at 5 p.m. Pacific time. Register for free at jflorcha.com to learn how to become your own boss, be with your family, and be anywhere you can. I mentioned that my cousin likes to draw a lot, so I looked at how animators stations look like, and I found this. So much junk! Oh my! Oh, what a mess! And how can they even tell where anything is? So I added this extra shelf for her drawings. I also made these cutouts so she can easily remove the papers. Without these cutouts, the paper tends to stay and stick on the wood because it's not a polished. With all the shelves and drawers in place, it's time to remove the computer from the table for more space. I removed all the components and laid down flat on a piece of plywood. Doing this setup requires additional tools. First, you will need an M3 screws to mount the motherboard onto the plywood. I didn't have any of those and I didn't want to order and wait for the shipping so what I've done here, I've used these connectors from a glowing sticks that you can buy from a dollar store. I cut them in half and now I have six spacers. I drill a hole where the screws are gonna be and then I put a scotch tape on every single hole where I'm going to put the spacers so they won't tip over. The next one you will need a riser card extender ribbon so you can mount the video card parallel to the ground. To mount the video card, I drilled where I'm going to screw the wood. Then I placed four small pieces of wood on top of the board and screw it from the bottom. To finish it off, I drilled and screwed the front bracket of the video card onto the wood. This is what it looks like from the back. In order to turn on the PC without reaching all the way to the back, I removed this front panel from the original computer case and I placed it right under the height adjustable table controller. The problem with this is that the wires and the USB 3.0 cable were too short to reach the motherboard. So what I've done here, I've used these jumper cables to the length that I needed. I made sure that every wires are lined up from point A to point B. With everything in place, I wrapped it around with electrical wire. Same way for every connection point. So with this, I just added 18 inches length to the wire. For the USB 3.0, there are a lot of pins to connect and I'm not sure if it's going to affect the speed by using the jumper wires. So I just went ahead and ordered the header extension cable. And now it's time to connect the wires and the extension cable. I hope this video gives you an idea how to design a workstation that works for you. And if this video inspires you to do some woodworking, please hit the like button and share this video with your friends. We just started this YouTube channel and you can support us by subscribing if you are new here and turn on the notification bell because we upload weekly so you won't miss any of them. My name is Froyland and thank you for watching.